one, two, one, two. Testing, okay. testing, testing. I'm gonna give the people what the people want to see. Rolling. That's what we're gonna do today. Hey, super foodies, and welcome back to Cooking with Anjali. Today, I am making the highly requested stir fried rice. And today, I'm gonna use prawns to make it. Usually, I make this with leftovers. So, if I have leftover rice, or sometimes leftover curry, or fajita chicken, or anything, I just chuck it in, mix it all up, and it's ready to go. However, today we're gonna make prawn stir fried rice from scratch and I'm super excited to eat it, so let's just get started. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start by chopping the veggies. Usually I use one large onion. I don't have one large onion. I'm gonna use one medium onion and one small onion. And we're just gonna chop them up into strips. So let's do that. I need to cut onions without crying. I just take off the first layer because it takes forever to get the skin off. Gaki calls me. Just take the whole thing off. We haven't got time for that. I'm just gonna click and our onions are cut. Let's pop them in here. They're not gonna fit in there. Move them aside. And we're gonna prepare our spring onions to be our garnish. Just gonna get rid of the dry ends on the top and the tail. Spring onions in the bowl. And we're gonna start our stir fry. I'm gonna heat my wok up and we're gonna add two tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna use rapeseed oil. We're gonna add our red onions. And we're gonna cook them until they're translucent. I'm just gonna try and separate the onions. I'm gonna cook on a medium to high heat. Okay, the onions are coated in oil. So we'll just let them fry for a couple of minutes. So, onions done. We're gonna add ginger paste. I've got about two and a half teaspoons here, but you could add two teaspoons, should be enough. I've got two teaspoons of ginger paste, and I've got half a teaspoon of green chili. And I'm just gonna mix that into the onions. Just be careful, because it does splatter. I'm gonna turn it down, medium low heat, and let that cook for a couple seconds. Next, we're gonna add the prawns. I've got some king prawns here, and I prefer to use defrost prawns because I can devein them as well, so I've done that, and we're just gonna add them in. I'm gonna turn the heat back up again slightly medium heat. I think because the prawns have got water in, the water's coming out of the prawns, so it's turning into a bit more of a paste and actually frying it. So I've just turned the heat up and added a tiny bit more oil. So I've cut the prawns until they've gone a kind of pink and they're nice and cooked. And now I'm gonna add the rice. I like to use leftover rice so that it basically has no water left in it anymore. And I cooked it this morning and I refrigerate. Refrigerated? I put it in the fridge. <laughs> I cooked it, I put it in the fridge, and it's nice and cold, so now we're gonna just add it to the stir fry. So if you guys wanna make this recipe, basically, get one cup of rice, cook it, and then leave it to cool, and then add it to the stir fry. So I actually made one and a half cups of rice, but I'd say it's best to use one cup, otherwise one and a half is gonna be too much. So if you guys are making this, you can use one cup of raw rice for this recipe. Next, we're gonna season with all these sauces. I'm gonna start with soy sauce. I'm just gonna turn the heat down so it doesn't burn on the bottom. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons, but you guys can add more or less depending on taste. And if you guys have noticed, I've not added any salt yet, because we're gonna taste it with the soy sauce first and see if it needs it afterwards. I'm gonna add half a tablespoon of fish sauce. What is this? I don't know, but it makes it taste fishy and good. <laughs> and it smells <laughs> like, a fish. like a fishy. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of tomato ketchup, one tablespoon of chili sauce. You guys can add less if you don't want it too spicy. Just gonna stir that in. It's sticking to the bottom a tiny bit, so I might add a tiny bit of oil in a moment. Just take it off the heat. So you don't want to stir this, you just kind of want to push it around a little bit so that it mixes without the rice clumping too much. Mix that flavor in. I'm just turn the heat off to make sure it doesn't burn whilst we're gonna add the dry spice next. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of ground cumin and coriander mixed together, which we also call danajiru. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of garam masala. We're gonna put half a tea, about, well, you can add a pinch, I'm gonna put about Half, just under half a teaspoon of turmeric. About half a teaspoon of garlic salt. I'm just gonna put the heat on a medium high. 
and I want to stir in all the seasoning. So any clumps that aren't covered in seasoning, I'm just kind of pressing them so that they mix into the seasoning. There are a couple of rice clumps. It's basically cooked now, but the more you cook it, the more crispier it will get until it gets burnt. Please don't burn it. Next, I'm gonna add my chopped spring onions and we're gonna stir those in. And I'm just gonna squeeze this lemon wedge in. With great difficulty. Oh, it's tiny, but it's... Been in the fridge. Always <laughs> eat your spinach. There. I can't get any more out of that. I actually want more lemon. I might put in bottled lemon juice. <laughs> I like that kind of tanginess of it that you get. You know when it's cooked because you kind of just chuck it to one side and it all just crumbles apart. There's not a lot of water left in it. Yeah, it just, as a clump, like you might have a clump like that and it kind of just it falls apart really well. It's not really squished together. All the water's burnt off. I'm gonna add just lime, tiny bit more lemon juice. And there we have it. Fried rice is ready. Take it off the heat. You guys can serve this with yogurt or chili sauce or ketchup, whatever you prefer. I love making mint sauce and I love serving it with a squeeze of chili sauce as well. I forgot to add my coriander, so we're just gonna add a little bit. My family love coriander. You can never have too much with them, but I'm just gonna put in that much and stir it in. I'm actually gonna cook it a bit longer so it cooks in. I absolutely love corn. Corn fried rice, ready. This is one of my favourites. It's better than last time. That tastes so, so good. I'm actually going to serve this with some mint sauce, which is my dad's special recipe. Just going to grab pork. Can't do that too very well. Hello! Okay, let's give it a taste. <laughs> We're so good. I must have finished this. So many of you guys requested this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like if you did, share with your family and friends, subscribe and press the bell icon for future videos. And let me know if there's anything else you want me to make. I'm gonna put this mint sauce on my list. <laughs> but you guys can also check out my kit, by the way, in the description below in the meantime. I must have finished this. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. This is my favorite move from that song. What? Shakira song. But it looks like you're like, you, you contemplate what you might cut the edges. <laughs>